Hi everybody, this is a white and red arcane bombardment deck where we're trying to cast a lot of spells in the early game, pass through the mid game with big score and survive with Phyrexian Vindicator, and then reuse and copy all of our spells with things like arcane bombardment and Chandra Hope's Beacon. Now because we're in Eldraine, I really wanted to try out Heartflame Duelist, a new adventure card that has a lovely 3 damage instant attached to it, and then if we play it out as a creature, it gives all of our instant and sorcery spells lifelink. So that means each time that spell does damage, we gain that much life. I thought this would be kind of a nice way to come back in the late game, which is something that decks like this often have trouble with. Now, for extra funsies, we're also running a few copies of Phyrexian Vindicator and a few copies of City on Fire to go with our usual expensive Red Enchantment and Planeswalker over here. We can dump those into the graveyard a little bit early with things like Thrill of Possibility and Big Score, draw a few extra cards, and then maybe invoke Justice one of them back out onto the board a little bit ahead of schedule or a little bit bigger than they might usually be. Then once we've got a combination of those things on board, it usually doesn't take more than a few more burn spells to get our opponents out of the game. You'll notice we're not running things like Union of the Third Path in here. I really wanted to give the Heartflame Duelist a chance to do its dirty work, and I apologize in advance. I, I missed the big chance to get this done. So for those of you who might be unfamiliar, when your instant and sorcery spells get lifelink, that means each time they do damage, you gain life. So when things like Burn Down the House deal 5 damage to each creature on the board, if there are like 4 creatures on board, that means you gain 20 life. Not too bad, but I am sorely disappointed that I missed my big chance to do it. So anyway, let's get over and see some games with this deck over on the rank standard ladder and see just how many of these weird shenanigans we can pull off. All right, let's get it started here. We're going to keep this hand. We've got a thrill of possibility in the festivities. Ultimate plan with putting end the festivities in here was to triple it off of a city on fire. Opponent's got an invasion of Tarkir for us. No dragon, so just the standard two damage. We're going to play our tap land. We're going a little heavy on the tap lands in this deck just so we can play Vindicator on time. Since we need the four white mana symbols for that. Opponent dings us with a Chandra. No follow-up. Interesting take on a burn deck here. Or at least a mono red deck. We're going to play Celestis. All right, so she does have an ultimate. Going to have to probably try to deal with Chandra before she gets too big. Watch me. Heat up the mm, rampaging Raptor. Do they go for us? They do. Okay, so I'm not even bothering with the invasion. Oh, because they don't have to, of course. Well, let's try for the Vindicator then. And we'll play out this leftover Battlefield Forge. Don't think we need to festivities yet, but that might be kind of our safety valve if we can't get any attacks in at Chandra over there. Opponent follows up plenty of lands. You know, it seems like in Standard there's always sort of a big red a deck floating around. Most of the Standard formats have had one, so instead of the super aggro low to the ground mono red decks it's a red deck that just plays all the big really all the fun stuff in red all right well let's play out our bivouac here been interested to give that one a try looks like one of the better creature lands from the new set All right. Well, I was afraid they had something in hand. They lightning strike the invasion, so they're going to get a free dragon. Dragon comes down. We could have attacked Chandra there, but we would have opened ourselves up to this attack and a whole world of damage probably on top of that. So trying to be a little cautious. So now Chandra up to seven loyalty, it looks like. An opponent's got a Vindictive Flame Stoker. So gonna need to get some damage in at Chandra soon. Let's big score, discarding this garden and see what we can find. Well, Thrill and Garden, not very good. Let's Thrill again, toss away another garden. 
we've already got enough basically on our side of the table to do bombardment and to end the festivities if we really have to. But it won't be pretty. Uh, let's play planes. So a couple of big scores and a thrill down there. We're going to be drawing some cards if we go that route. Well, I think we got to go for it. There's not much red can do against enchantments. And we kind of need some different things to do here. Okay, Bombardment pulls up big score. 65-ish percent chance of that happening, so that's that's pretty good. We get some treasures left over. We can thrill on our opponent's turn and kind of keep things going. We get a nice Celestis activation, start filtering through some of these extra lands. It would be great if we could draw enough cards and find one of our burn down the house. All right, opponent going to combat. All right, no attacks. I guess wanting to protect Chandra. Let's draw with Thrill. See what we can pick up with Bombardment. I think at this point it's either Big Score, another Thrill, or end the festivities. We get Big Score. Let's do it again. We'll pitch our other one that we've got in hand. We get Invoke Justice, big score. There's the Heart Flame, a few lands and an extra bombardment. Okay. Well, we've got so much mana, we might as well just big score again. We're going to discard a land here. Lightning Strike. Okay, I think that's enough drawing. Celeste says, hey, wait a minute. A little bit more draw, another Invoke Justice. So, oh, there's a Chandra too. I don't know if we have enough to do both Chandra and an Invoke. An Invoke might be cool just to put a bunch of counters on this Vindicator. Because I don't think there's anything besides a land down there to get back. Heart Flame. Let's see, we could do some damage. Help keep Chandra contained a little bit and activate Bombardment. Before we decide what to do next. It's all big scores under there. All right, let's pitch one of these Invoke Justices. Probably get that later. We'll pitch this extra bombardment since the first one is pretty safe. There's a burn down the house finally. And finally, the Duelist hits Chandra for three. All right, well, we can finally clear this board. We've got just what we were looking for in burn down the house. Opponent sacks the Flame Stoker in response, so they're going to be able to discard that hand, draw a bunch of cards, but we clear the board, get to hit them for five, and uh, yeah, let's attack them for another five, bring them to nine, sounds good to me, and play out the Duelist that we had plenty of mana for. Ugh, with Burn Down the House that whole time. <laughs> oh, that would have been a solid, what, 25 life points if we had played the Duelist first. Okay. Well, clearly a more coffee scenario. Duelist dies to a play with fire, so maybe that plan wouldn't have worked anyway. But our opponent has had enough. <laughs> Good game. All right, we're back again. Hopefully a little more awake this time. We're going to start off here with a Restless Bivouac. Get our weird Ox Spirit action going with this card. Some nice lightning strikes in this hand to try and handle anything early. And then we've got Burn Down the House on the back end. If they go a little too wide, let's go garden here while they're not doing too much. Playing some extra lands, maybe going towards some big stuff. It's a new format. All bets are off. I don't know anymore. <laughs> let's go Celestis. Do a little ramp of our own. 
Watch these many journeys tick upwards. So we're going to be right on time for burn down the house this turn, but we might just want to wait on that. Oh, yes. Let's discard a card. And let's go Vindicator. Perfect timing on that Vindicator. We were planning to burn down the house on our following turn anyway. This is a great lead up to it if we can get it to stick. All right, it lands. Not sure how green gets rid of this one. I know we're a nuisance for mono red decks. A lot of green's removal involves fighting, and that's just that's not really going to work. All right, a Tyranax, but we're kind of blocking him with our Vindicator. Let's go burn down the house then. As planned, throw five at our opponent bring them to 21. The attack brings them to 16. Not much you can do about that one. Opponent passes it on over with six mana. I wonder if they've got any fight spells in hand that were kind of uh, blanking for our opponent over here. All right, let's see what the Celestis gets us. A Thrill, so we can discard a Forge. Go attacking again with the Vindicator. Opponents at 11, we're almost at the point where we can just burn them straight out with these Lightning Strikes. All right, Invoke Justice, the pickup here from the Celestis. We'll pass off End the Festivities into the Grave. Okay. Well, I think it's time to finish this one off while we can. Yep, opponent sees it coming. Good game. All right, lots of tap lands here, but we've got a solid start from what I can see. I'm going to go Windscarred Crag. Gain some life. Every little bit helps. Opponent starts off just a swamp. We go tap land number two, and we've got our Heart Flame Duelist back in hand. See if we can't redeem ourselves. Let's go bivouac and pass it on over. We've been doing well on the land draws. We could get away with a thrill here. Ooh. Opponent with a fairy vandal. I wonder. Combat research. I wonder if this is a fairy's deck. It looks like there's a deck in there somewhere with the blue-black uh, new fairies that came out in Wilds of Eldraine. Kind of excited to see where that goes. But maybe our opponents found the key here. We're going to thrill. We find Invoke Justice and City on Fire. All right, well, we're a ways off from that. I suppose we could try to discard it with Big Score, or we could just go for Vindicator here. Let's start with the Vindicator, because then if that gets countered, that's another potential target for Invoke Justice. Spell Stutter. Okay, this is definitely fairies. Counters the Vindicator. And we just need an untapped land now. Oh, interesting. Invasion of Eldraine. Well, let's discard City on Fire and the Celestis. Well, maybe the Celestis was the wrong choice there, but City on Fire for sure. Fairy Vandal gets a little bigger, and of course we missed the land, so let's go big score. I'm going to pitch this Duelist for now. We get a tap land and a couple of treasures, so we're definitely set up for the future. If we can get it through, if the opponent's got more spell stutters or negates. Could be in for a tricky matchup. This Fairy Vandal could do a bit more. Oh, I like that. Render Inert takes all the counters off the Invasion of Eldraine. And this is one I have not seen too much of. And a combat research for that one too. Okay. I mean, combat research, a great, great aura if you can protect the thing it's on. Well, opponent showing one black mana open. Let's go ahead and burn down the house. Get rid of these things while we can. 
and we know we're immune to counters. Got a few options to follow up on this. Likeness looter from the opponent. Yeah, lots of little interesting creatures in the fairy creature type, but I haven't yet seen a uh, fantastic deck put together with them, but it, it feels like it's in there somewhere. All right, so it loots, and it's only their graveyard that it can copy, so I don't think we have to worry about our Vindicator being down there. But... Hmm. Between Vindicator and City on Fire here... Yeah, I think it's City. Our opponent's pretty low. And this just, it triples, like, everything we want to do. Well, I guess our opponent's not that low. I mean, in relation to what we've got in hand, the opponent's low enough that we could potentially burn them out. Opponent goes looting here. All right. Passes it on back. Big score, the draw. Well, that's something nice to do with a Chandra on board. And Likeness Looter, not really going to be able to hit that hard. So let's add some mana. We're going to go big score. Going to discard this Duelist for now. Try to pick up a few more things to do, and then on the following turn, I think what we can do is use Chandra to look at the top and find us some spells to cast. For now, just a seismic wave off all those draws. All right, let's pass it over. At least she can copy this wave. We can do a bunch of damage to our opponent and all of their creatures at once. So they're going to go in and attack. Let's do a seismic wave. And yep, we got to target our opponent. That's going to do three damage to each creature. And then with this copy, that'll happen twice. So I don't think they can save the Vandal by drawing cards. And that hits our opponent for six each time. Okay, I could get behind this. This is good. Opponents at 7. Render Inert takes Chandra down to 2. Draws them a card, but nothing else. And we've got another Seismic Wave off the top. And that should just about wrap it up. Good game. Alright. We've got Vindicator. Something to bring it back with. And something to bring back Invoke Justice with. It is just turtles all the way down as we start off with our tap land here. Opponent on some Bant colors. Love playing around a new set release. You never know what you're going to see. Okay, opponent's got a Faithful Mending that usually... There's only in lands. That usually signifies a reanimator deck. Opponent usually drops like a Phyrexian portal or... And Atraxa down there, but nothing yet, just lands. So I suppose the other option could be, well, let's see what they do here. More lands. So this could, this could very much be Splendid Reclamation focused. And that would happen, oh, they got a tap land. I was going to say that would happen right on four. But since that's not happening, let's make some room in our hand and Seismic Wave our opponent's face. Start seeding our own graveyard to get some things down there for bombardment. And then we're able to Vindicator right on time at four. Opponent with the third Faithful Mending. Or maybe that was flashback. I don't know. Okay. I think that was a Mycosynth. Yeah, okay, here we go. All right, Icar Moon Gauntlet. They've got a Mica Synth that turns uh, everything into artifacts. So it looks like they could be building towards a Brilliant Restoration. 
but we're gonna have to watch out for all of the other reanimator pieces that could be in there. Atraxa, all that kind of stuff. Interesting. All right, so they got Planeswalkers in here too, obviously to play with the Ickermoon Gauntlet. Nothing yet to put extra counters on though. And that, there's the payoff with that is to take some turns. Teferi makes a token, probably one of the better things that he does. Hmm. All right, I think what we want to do here, I think we're going to pitch Invoke Justice. I think that makes sense. Yeah. And then we're going to go Arcane Bombardment. Yes. Uh, okay, we got a few things down there. So let's go Lightning Strike on the token because we know we can attack into Teferi with the Vindicator. All right, Seismic Wave, though. So we can do two directly to Teferi. And then Lightning Strike finishes the token. Okay, and that play at least puts the most damage on our opponent's face as we try to finish them before they combo us out with something ridiculous. Says the guy playing Arcane Bombardment. Another faithful mending here. Interesting. A Dryad's Revival goes to the grave as well as an Argoth. So they could be running a Titania in here as well, since they are pitching a lot of lands to the graveyard. And now Jace is here. Are they going to try to mill us out, or is this sort of to manage the Vindicator? Okay, makes it a 2-5, so the Vindicator can't take care of Jace on its own. Hmm. Well, we've got another Seismic Wave think that's the way. So if we do two to Jace with this one, there's one more under Bombardment, and we pick up a big score. So let's do Seismic Wave number two over there. So the waves take care of Jace. Big score finds us another big score. And we can smack our opponent for a measly two damage. But at least we got to keep this board clear since the Gauntlet can Enable some ridiculousness. Oh, hello. Opponent's got a farewell. What did we choose? Just creatures and enchantments. Okay. Well, I think what we're going to do then is we're going to big score in response, discarding a land. We get a lightning strike. Okay. That'll take our opponent to nine. The wave, that'll take them to seven. And then I think, yeah, I think we can pitch that guy. We should be okay, right? There's another spell in here, right? No? Uh, okay, well, let's go bombardment number two, bivouac. Yep, our Vindicator wouldn't have been able to attack anyway since it was on the hook to... Uh, get removed with farewell. So fuzzy math there. Opponent's got a Celestis now. Uh, yeah, I guess that's fine. Can't put a counter on anything. Opponent looking at our graveyard. Might be regretting not removing our graveyard from the game, but I'm betting their combo kind of necessitates having a graveyard. So they get their Mycosynth down. Ugh, handful of lands. Where are the spells when you need it? At least we've got this Restless Bivouac here. We're going to make a uh, kind of ghost ox thing and put a counter on it. Hit our opponent for three. And all right, opponent, you've got it. So they got a Dryad's Revival in hand. Discards a Sunfall to the Celestis. Definite control angle to this deck here. All right, does a revival on, looks like the farewell. All right, well, they're coming back for bombardment. Let's cycle this garden, see what we can find. There we go. All right, let's activate the bivouac then. That's going to be guaranteed four damage. If this hits, we just need one more. 
All right. Heart flame slash. And that wraps it up. Good game. All right. I think we got a little time for one more here. We got our bivouac back. Our nice looking ox friend. Opponent starts us off with a gnawing vermin. I am enjoying the number of rat decks I'm seeing on the ladder. They look fun to play. They have a little bit of resilience built in. Nice change of pace. All right, so we take one from the vermin. Tangled Colony, haven't seen this one yet. Can't block, looks like when it dies it makes tokens. So, let's go, let's see, Sundown Pass, that means we can Celestis and also play with fire at the same time. All right, and that will give them two rat tokens, okay. I think if we had done that last turn, they would have gotten three tokens out of the deal. Karumonix the Rat King. Wow, that was a draw three off of that, okay. Well, land number four. Not sure if we need to get rid of that right away, but it does give all those other rats toxic. Well, I think we're okay for now. We're going to play this Vindicator, and then we'll probably have to Lightning Strike. Sewer King. Lord Skitter Sewer King, you say. Whenever another rat enters the battlefield, exile up to one target card from an opponent's graveyard. I don't like that at all. For me, we're going to block here with Vindicator. Take two, go up to five poison. One damage from the Vindicator. We're just going to shoot down one of these rats. Chandra the draw. Hello. Hmm. Let's see. Anything happen when they die? No? Okay. So I think then we should be fairly safe. Play Chandra Hope's Beacon. We'll do a minus three. Take out the two good rats and leave the tokens, leave the blocker and the Phyrexian Vindicator. Try to protect Chandra here. Whoops. Corrupted Conviction. This season's Village Rites. That's something that seems like it works great in a rat deck. Okay. Well, the Blight Belly I've seen before. I think... Yeah, let's draw here. Between these copies, I'm hopeful we should be able to manage the board. The copies that Chandra's going to make, we just need to keep drawing some spells. So let's play Sundown Pass. Let's make a little bit of mana now so we can cast one of these lightning strikes here. Take out the token and have the copy take out the other rat. And that'll leave us with enough mana to respond to anything that our opponent does. Or potentially just ding them for six. All right, rats are clear. We're going to attack for five. It's a three-turn game now. Opponent's got a Mirex, another Tangled Colony. That does seem like one of the better rats. Oh, the song. Okay, well, we're going to have to watch out for that one then. So they're going to be able to create hasty rats in the future. All right, well, they went for just enough to kill Chandra there. We're going to do... Where are we putting this lightning strike? We're going to do one to the opponent's face and the other on the Tangled Colony. The rats can't block anyway. And I know I know we've got a flyer, but I think as long as Chandra is alive, it's really her copy ability that we want. Uh, I don't think this matters being empty-handed. Yes, we draw a bivouac. 
All right, let's have Chandra find us a spell. Oh, she finds many spells. All right, some lightning strikes in the grave. Well, I think it's Invoke Justice here for me. Let's grab the Duelist out of there. And we'll copy that and use the other copy to grab this Plains. Put four counters on the Vindicator and put four more on the Vindicator and uh, swoop in for a nice surprise victory there. Good game.